just burning around. You can see all grass stuck on it still. And then all of a sudden it just lost power. Uh, I thought the chain had come off originally, but the chain's on good. I thought the chain had snapped or the chain had come off, but no, that's fine. The engine's still running fine. So what I'm thinking is it's the belt in here, or else, uh, or else the clutch in here is let go. I hope it's not the clutch, I hope it's just the belt. <laughs> clutch is a lot more expensive than a belt. So I'll have to take this cover off, there's about 8 bolts or so. I'll take that off and then we'll have a look and see what's going on in there. But, uh, if anyone's got any, before I pull it apart, if anyone's got any opinions of what else might be wrong, let me know. But I'll just do a quick start up and we'll get it started. Okay, so the keys are in it, I'll put the fuel on. Keys are in it. And we'll just see how it goes with the, the starting up. Turn the key on. Oops. Oh. What's going on? The lights are off. Maybe I've got to be sitting maybe I've got to be sitting on it. I've never. Okay. That's completely dead. There's nothing showing up in the dash either. Whoops. Oh dear, so it's not just one problem, it's it's several problems. I wonder what's going on then. Oops. So it looks like the bat looks like the battery's died. Um Yeah. Okay, I'm just checking all the switches here. Make sure that's that's in, that's run. Nothing's working. Gosh. Okay, so I've got more problems than I thought. So I might need to put the battery on charger. Um, although the battery was fully charged. Um, okay, so after after I did after I broke down, I'll tell you the story as well. So after I broke down, I'll just turn the key off. Yep, it's off. Uh, I was about five k's into the bush there. I was a long way in, long, long way. I'd gone way in and then gone way down. Okay, and I actually broke down on the side of a of a bitumen road, and this is right on dark, just as it's just as it's getting dark, and I knew there was no moon. So, so what I did was I started walking back along the road there, and I got over halfway back, about two thirds of the way back. So about a 5k walk, and um, and then down came the rain, and it just bucketed down on me. And, uh, lucky I live in a warm place, so the rain was actually warm for a while, and then it got a bit cold, but uh, I was actually absolutely soaking, soaking drenched, of course, within seconds. It came down so hard. And then I got the, got the trailer on the car, and took the car around with a friend, and, and we just lifted the quad bike into the back onto, onto the... There's all there's all debris, leaves and debris in the, in the trailer. We just lifted it onto the back, so we didn't didn't have time to grab ramps. And um, but the quad bike was still running. I started it then. So what's gone wrong with the battery? Jeez, because batteries for these things aren't cheap either. They're about eighty or hundred dollars for a tiny little battery. It's an absolute rip, really. When you think about a car battery costing about the same. So hmm. Maybe I'm up for a new battery, maybe I'm up for a new starter, maybe water's got in an electrical system and bugged the electrical system up. Oh dear, okay, so it's not just a simple belt anymore, it's now something a bit more advanced. Okay, so I'll pull that apart, I'll put a meter on the battery, the battery's just under the seat. I'll put a meter on the battery, see what's going on, if it's flat I'll take a terminal off and, re and put it on the charger overnight. And then we'll come back and have a look and see how we're going. Okay.